How's it going guys? Today I'll be unboxing the security camera by Lorex. It's a 4K camera. It's got 8 channels, 8 cameras minus 2 cameras, 2 totally big hard drives and you can see up to 130 feet in night vision and it doesn't say how far it can see during the daytime. I wonder why. Oh and by the way we bought this at Costco. And here's the item number. Let's open this bugger up. Uh. Huh. Okay, box in a box. Factory sealed for your protection. Got one, two, three. Oh, sounds a little loose in there. Four. This accessory box. What's down here? Nothing. Here are the Cat5 cables. And these are 60 feet each. Let's see. Give this out. Yeah, these cables are quite smelly. So I guess this would provide the waterproof protection. Cable itself seems pretty heavy duty. Okay, let's put this box on the side. Try this big box. Okay. Ooh Here they are. Ooh. They're big. Look at those. <clears throat> They're bigger than I thought. Let's see. Power. Cat5 connector. Look at that. Nice and white. Then it'll be easier to see. Film here. Remove protective film before use. And another protective film. Alright, leave that on. So you know what, I think this is plastic. 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 I thought it was somewhat heavy duty plastic. It's metal? I think plastic. It could be heavy duty plastic. Heavy duty? Yeah, heavy duty. Okay, it's got some information in here. Okay. Ooh, and speaker. It's also got a speaker. Yeah. So then, like, you can connect to, the, to your phone, and then if you press a button, then that one could be the alarm. Oh, cool. Okay. And they all have this mount. Okay. Let's check out the next box. What we got in there? Another box. Oh, I think this is the, the stuff. In itself. There we go. More paperwork. And some batteries. Some batteries. Possibly for the remote. There you go. This is the NVR. Cool. Mm. Here are the eight channels. We'll only be using six. Connect to the internet. VGA port for your monitor. Mic. Hmm. I guess you can hook up a microphone over here for your base station. HDMI cable to a monitor. Looks like you can run two monitors. Let's open this one up. Oh. Hey. Oh, here we go. Okay. So. There's a blue cable here. Yep. Yeah. It's pretty light. This is for your internet. Power cable. And then remote. another one. HDMI cable. And here is the power. Adapter. Put the plug inside. And what is this in here? Is this an animal in here? I don't know, but the box looks pretty crushed. And the shipping looks pretty busted. Oh, there's a mouse in a here. A mouse? 
not a real mouse, but okay. oh my gosh, it's so tiny. It actually fits my hand. Yeah, let's see. Let's try to... It's okay. really tiny. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay, so let's... right now we're gonna put the batteries inside the remote. Battery thing. Ready? Yeah. See. Positive, negative. So guys. I put it in the wrong way. My bad, guys. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Here is all the hardware and screws. Let's not lose those. And then these things. I know what these things are for. Some more. And then this. This. No. Stuff. Okay, that's good. I, I like. I'm liking the way it turns. It's like swivelly, it's like a swivel chair. That way we can oh. do many, many different Ooh. angles. And then I don't know what just happened, but yeah. so basically the the tighter this thingy is, the harder it is to move this little knob. See, like if I turn it this way, it's like really easy. But if I turn it, turn it this way, it's more hard to move the knob thing. Well, that concludes the unboxing portion. Okay guys, so I hooked everything up, um, well, to test it out, and I, what I noticed is the cameras get really hot after a while, after maybe five minutes of use, they get really hot for some reason. Um, did you guys come across this problem? Yeah, and also this cord here, ethernet cord, it's about three feet long, um, it's not long enough for me. So I purchased a Cat 6, uh, I think it was a 15 footer for my use. And I'm just here testing it out. Looks pretty good so far. Okay guys, the next thing I have to do is I have to make a hole over here. Alright. Alright. Remember guys, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I could be doing this wrong. Alright. Yay! Oh, I didn't cut correctly. All right. All right, fit. And it's level. It's straight fat dab in the middle. But just in case, drill a tiny bit more. Hey guys, I took all the cameras off of this uh, the wall mount. Now I'm gonna install the actual mount I'm gonna use. And um, before I do that, I'm going to have to tape up this connector here. I wish they came with a cap. So I got some electrical tape and I'm just going to wrap all of them up so no bugs or anything gets inside here. Okay, so in this bag here, it comes with a couple of uh, stickers and it comes with these, uh, these mounts that you can drill. I mean, these stickers can drill the holes. So, it's like a sticker. So, I won't be using the outside, I'll be using these inside ones. Yeah.
Okay guys, I got this cool faceplate to run all the wires through. So it's gonna go right through here. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. All right, this is how it looks on the inside. Um, so yeah, I put all the cords together and I wrapped it every about foot with the electrical tape. And I got a whole lot of cords here. And I probably should have left it in the wall, but you know, I didn't think about that. So, the unit itself is pretty loud. The dryer spinning around, the fan spinning around. Yeah. Okay guys, so here is how it looks on the outside. That's my little setup here. And I don't think I told you, but I am not a professional. I think that's supposed to be away from the wall, but uh, I cocked everything and everything's waterproof. And eventually, I may paint this. But, yeah, who knows. Hey, there I am. Okay guys, it's been about seven months since I installed the camera and I gotta say that this camera is pretty awesome. Uh, the nighttime shots are great. Um, the only thing that I think that it can work on is, they can work on, is the software for it. Um, it was difficult for me to set up the time zone and uh, just viewing it on the computer itself. I enjoy watching my house from my phone. Um, yeah, so in this shot here, I am walking around, talking on my phone, talking to you. This is about 40 feet away. About 50 feet away and all the way to my truck it's about 60 feet away yeah so once again guys this is a great camera um, and that's pretty much I enjoy watching uh, the video from outside nighttime and I don't have to go to the window see what's going on outside yeah all right, guys. Aloha and take care. Thanks for watching. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Ridiculous.